Hello everyone, this is Dan from CryptoBots. The CryptoBots game is releasing this June, which means it's time to talk about the backbone of the game, the innovative stable economy model, which will be the foundation of our game's long-lasting life. In this video, I will introduce the brand new economy features that will be implemented in the upcoming game. So, there are multiple roads that the blockchain gaming market can take. It may be the rise of the innovative economies or the rise of casual games with crypto added to it. We at CryptoBots believe that the future of the blockchain games lies in the field of creating stable and fun play-to-earn games, which will grow on the edge of traditional finance and decentralized finance and form a completely new type of product. Definitely not the way some projects try to just give away some NFTs just to pretend they look like a crypto game. You know what I'm talking about. From the start of our journey of building the new CryptoBots game, we are very focused on solving the main problem of the current crypto game market, a critical dependence on the user base growth. We have worked really hard on this challenge and we are now ready to reveal our solution. This is not just a single idea, but a whole economic model which will be named Stable Economy Game. The current economy loop in most games and game-like projects looks like this. At first, a new player buys gaming NFTs for crypto. Then he plays NFT and earns in-game tokens. Then he uses tokens, NFTs, to breed new NFTs. And then he sells these NFTs to a new user and makes a profit. When there is enough inflow of the new users, everything goes well. But the real problem is that a game needs more users on the next loop of the economy spiral than on the previous one, because the previous users wants to extract their investment and get a profit, plus some money sent to the treasury and spent on the commissions, marketing, further development of the game, and so on. But what always happens at some point is that the inflow of the new users collapses. The game enters the death spiral where all users try to get at least something for their NFTs and tokens and start to sell them for cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and there is no one buying them, which pushes the price down to zero. We believe that the in-game economy should evolve to become much more sustainable and long-term. However, when building a stable economy model itself, it's very important how you market it. The marketing should not be approached from the common Ponzi-like standpoint. At CryptoBots, we have developed a set of principles the stable game economy should be based on that I'm going to present right now. It should be noted that eight mechanics that I'm going to speak of is just the tip of the iceberg. In fact, there are hundreds of mechanics that would create stable CryptoBots game economy and every little game mechanic and every partnership has to play positive impact on the metaverse economy. So without further ado, Let's go with the list. At CryptoBots, we aim for only reasonable APY rates that are sustainable in the long term. Our APYs will reach 200-300% for the best players and up to 100% for an average player. This is not comparable to 100-1000 to times the profit in other games and similar projects, but will ensure the long-term stability of the in-game ecosystem. We aim to achieve a zero-sum game balance, meaning that the damage will sometimes occur after the arena fight with the repairman costs going to the winning party. This will ensure that really engaged and skilled players will always be able to earn and that we have the mechanics to balance the system. Forget about get early to earn more mindset, it's not for crypto bots. Our economy will be newcomers friendly and every stage of the game's lifetime. We are also implementing the power creep mechanics, which means that the new bots will be slightly better than the existing ones. This motivates the existing players to purchase new bots to be able to win. In contrast, in a traditional Axie-like economy, the new bots are mostly purchased by the new players. We plan to extract additional value from the blockchain ecosystem, uh, blockchain networks, wallets, DEXs, and etc., and use it for marketing the crypto bots. We believe that a good game creates a big dedicated community around itself and attracts a lot of new users, both crypto-native and non-crypto, to the game. We are going to create partnerships or build our own infrastructure projects to extract the value from them either in the form of commissions or by building even more projects on this base and creating even more value to invest in the user base growth and ecosystem development. With our marketing, we aim to attract tens of millions of non-crypto gamers to the crypto space. The CryptoBots team has a vast expertise in traditional mobile marketing and the resources from the PlayNeta Game Studio that will be utilized to onboard a lot of non-crypto gamers to the CryptoBots through ASO, performance marketing, paid Facebook and Google ads, etc. We don't just take word of mouth as our main marketing strategy, as many existing projects do. Play-to-earn games should create value for gamers, not speculators. 
That's why we will feature the innovative treasure and governance token management mechanics and tokenomics to extract the value towards the gamers, not speculative investors, which we will do via flexible token rewards and consumption model. To ensure long-term gaming engagement, the economy has to have certain layers to it and encourage long-term investments. To get to the high-end content in CryptoBots, the players would need to retain value and put effort in the game for a long time. And in return, the player will be rewarded with more earnings. Yes, we're implementing multiple play and earn mechanics, but we do it in a crypto and web3 way. This means implementing a lot of social mechanics, expanding the number of possible interactions within the community and encouraging collaboration of players in the late game stage and in the upcoming updates. Visual skins and other cosmetics, the stuff we all like, will also be present, but we will not sell it as other games do. Instead, we will give them out and create opportunities for players themselves to create new content with a functional to later sell it on the marketplace. We are keeping up the active development for our historic 2017 classic CryptoBots NFT collection and building a wide CryptoBots brand awareness to use all this as a fuel for the CryptoBots franchise and to extract value from it for the game. And that's it. That was the list of the core mechanics that will form the foundation of the CryptoBots game economy. But as I said, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Those are just the core ones and there are hundreds of them more. Keep in mind that the alpha version of the game is almost ready and we will be launching the Battle for the Lands testnet in the upcoming 2-3 weeks. Stay tuned for the updates. If you haven't signed up for the testnet yet, do it now because the Battle for the Lands event we have here is massive. Top 1000 players and top alliances win NFT lands with the utility to them just up to the sky. There are two options on how you can sign up. A guaranteed option to get access to the testnet is to have free Genesis Bots NFTs on your wallet and sign up on the CryptoBots website. If you don't have the bots on your wallet, don't worry, you can sign up for the massive lottery we have where we give out a thousand free access whitelist bots for the testnet. It's free to join. There are a really big chances to win, so I don't know what you're waiting for. Go to the CryptoBots website and sign up. You can find the registration link in the description to sign up for the testnet. Stay tuned for big updates and see you soon in the CryptoBots game metaverse.